what's going on peeps so did you know that 50% of you that are watching my videos are not subscribed according to analytics so you're probably getting some YouTube recommendation uh, to watch my videos and so hey no pressure but if you like this video it would do me a lot of good if you subscribe so wait till the end we're gonna go find some awesome species and critters underwater we're doing a night dive at one of my favorite spots here in the Philippines and yeah I can't tell you what we're gonna find well, let's go search so we're heading to Ruckus Reef at the moment and I want you to show you guys the pathway going there you know it's quite a challenge So yeah, we are doing a night dive and I don't want to get in the water before 6.30. That's when it seems like to be dark enough. The critters start coming out. Of course, a lot of nudie break and crabs and shrimp, they only come out at night. Uh, and certain octopus species. But it's not 6.30 yet. Uh, but I like to come here a little bit early because this road is really rough and dark. And yeah, we're just like driving through the jungle to get here <laughs> but it's definitely worth the drive because nobody knows about this site well they kind of do now because I've been making videos about it uh, and we started seeing like dive resorts bring people here and stuff but uh it's it's cool it is worth it because then I can see their photos and see what these they saw here and yeah that reminds me our friend has been seeing a coconut octopus that lives on this site and it's really really tiny so there's still a small chance that we'll see it but who knows we didn't see it a couple nights ago when we we're here but we'll, we'll just keep searching it's really it's really cute so it'll be worth it plus we're writing a book about octopus of Darwin, so i'd really like to find this one Hello, goat. Have you seen any octopus around here? Oh shit, I almost missed the road. <laughs> My best friend owns goatsontheroad.com. So every time I see a goat near a road, I have to make fun of it. And we finally arrived. This is my go-to critter spot. What up, peeps? So we just arrived at Rocky's Reef. I named it because one of our guides, Rocky, used to live right by here. And only he was gone, because it's right by his house at the end of the road. And he discovered a crazy dive site with a lot of critters. Um, so anyways, the only thing I don't like about this site is the entry. It's a nice beach, but to get to the beach, there's a lot of uh, thorns and stuff you have to walk through. So, but it's really not a problem. I got the critter getter. If you guys see this running around Dowin, honk at me, say hello. Um, Want to see what camera I'm using today? As usual, I got my TG6 and Olympus housing. I also have this uh, tripod uh, that I've only been using for about a month, but it's it's like transformed my footage uh i don't know if you guys have noticed but it's been super smooth right now lately and i i'm totally in love with it even with photos i could set it up have it perfectly set and then just hit the button uh i could step away critters come out of their hole when i'm farther back it's it's amazing uh today i'm i'm i borrowed this light somebody wanted me to borrow use it try it out it's like a slew light doesn't have a slew on the end the whole thing is like a beam I used it the other day, I didn't love it, it was too bright, and then I used it again the next day on like lower settings and higher, look. anyways, it was a lot better. So now I'm gonna use it at night and see how it goes. I also got a big video light that I always use. I think it's like 5,000 lumens and technically it's like a wide angle light, but I love it. The only thing I don't like about it and night dives is it's plankton season 
So these lights attract every plankton. Pretty soon the whole, if I'm filming a little critter, just there's a cloud of uh, bugs around the light, you know, little tiny plankton, little tiny, tiny fish. It's really, really bad, really ruined a lot of footage. But with this one, the, the beam of light, the spot of light is like this big. I could light up an entire nudie break or frogfish or something like that and not attract almost any plankton. So it might say, if I can get the temperature right, the light, the brightness, all that, it, it'll save a lot of footage. So yeah. Now we're just gonna, we're a little early. I wanted to film while it's still daylight. I, I feel we do mostly night dives and when I just get out here and I start filming when it's night, you guys can't see anything, so it sucks. Uh, but right now we're gonna wait for Alex. He should be here uh, any minute. He's on Filipino time, but he's bringing the tanks and then we can gear up and uh, maybe by then it'll be 6.30 and we'll get in. So let's hope he gets here soon. Secure is just right there, okay? Bye. So while we're waiting for Alex, I've got to give a huge shout out to my new patrons. Thank you guys so much for the ones that signed up this month or last month. Uh, you guys are really making this happen. A scuba diving channel is not the cheapest channel to make. Episodes are not cheap. So it's really helping me keep going and get going to the next level where it's more sustainable. And I can keep bringing episodes to you guys for free. It's just gonna be me and Alex and Gitan today. And we don't have to worry about anyone else. We're just, we're a great team. We, we know what we wanna film. And I forgot to tell you guys, we're actually writing another book. I've teamed up with Gitan this time, another underwater photographer, my dive buddy for the last few months. Uh, and just like me and Finn did on the Nudie Brink book, we're making a cephalopod book of Dowin, you know, this whole area. And we're always after more photos. And like I said earlier, somebody gave us a tip that they've been seeing this little tiny coconut octopus here every night. So we're gonna try to find it. And the, you know, the hard part is filming it for you guys and then photographing it for the book and getting a good enough photograph and hoping there's no current, hoping we can find the critter this small out in the dark of the ocean, uh, hoping that it cooperates and comes out of its hole or its shell, hoping that there's not a bunch of plankton. It's, 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 it's a lot of work, but we might not even see it. So who knows? Uh, so we're having issues. Her O-ring blew on her new little uh, Sunto. Back from here. Is that one Transmitter or yeah. whatever it's called. This is a bitter one. And we didn't bring an extra regulator, so that okay. sucks. We usually have something extra, or at least during the day, we could borrow one. But it's settled. I definitely need to sort out my car, Critter Junior, so that we have like a save the dive kit with extra regulator, extra fans, extra everything. Stuff like that, just so uh, we don't waste a day. Luckily, Alex has some little O-rings, so I think maybe... We had a stopper so we could remove the... Yeah, so she's just gonna remove the Suunto transmitter that transmits your uh, tank pressure to your computer, but yeah, next time I need to set up my car in the next episode, I think. Yeah. By the time we get out there, it's gonna be no tide. It's gonna be freaking December. Okay. I think we're finally ready. I think we're finally ready. So there's too many bugs out attracted to the lights. I gotta hide. <laughs> You're already hiding. You know. I should have waited to put my wetsuit on. It's really hot. But all right. Oh, I need my camera. Where's the camera? Hey, Justin. It's red. All right, guys. 
I will see you underwater. Alex is gonna go find an octopus for me. <laughs> I hope, 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 I don't know what's going on, but all of a sudden, I've been seeing these little sharp-nosed Tobies everywhere. And if you guys have seen the little movie on Netflix called Puff, well, this is this guy. And I don't know, we've been seeing little tiny babies everywhere all of a sudden, and it's pretty cute. I've never seen them before. Of course, I see the full grown ones all the time, but this is the first time seeing this tiny dude. Then I ran into this little tiny sea slug, about half the size of my pinky fingernail. And he reminds me of something out of the Mario Brothers. I always love finding these ones. It always amazes me that Alex could find something so small in such a vast ocean full of rocks and sand and things. It's, must have some great eyes. There's a whole lot of hermit crabs on this dive site and pretty much everywhere in Dawan I guess. And I usually don't film them even though they're really interesting. But these guys were hilarious and I was trying to figure out what they're doing so I just kind of set up the camera on a tripod and watched. And it seems like this big one is trying to steal the shell of the other one. I don't know if he's home jealous or what's going on. I, maybe they're trying to mate. I don't know, but it just looked like this one was trying to get that guy out of his shell. <laughs> I don't know if this is a carjacking or what's going on, but it's pretty cute. Later on, I ran into this pair of harlequin shrimp. And of course they're eating a little sea star. So I see a lot of harlequin shrimp and some are pink like this, which means they're eating red or pink sea stars. And some are bright blue, which means they're eating the blue sea stars. But no matter what they're eating, these are such an incredible, incredible species. I'm not sure if they're popular in the aquarium trade, but just seeing them out in the wild, I love these little guys. This next critter had me super excited to find. I even had him on my screensaver on my phone for like the last year, hoping that I would find it one day. And I finally did. It's the first time ever seeing it in Darwin. I've seen it in photos from a few other places in Philippines and Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. But this is the first time in two years of hard searching that I've been able to find this species of Circe here in Darwin or Zambagita. I was so excited to find this. I had to call Alex over and yes, I found it, not Alex for once. So I called Alex over and showed him and he was excited and then he went and got Gatan so she could film it as well. And yeah, this was such an awesome, awesome find. Definitely the find of the month. You guys can't really tell how tiny this is, but I'd say about the size of your index finger fingernail. Pretty tiny. I'll zoom out a little bit, try to really show you how small it is. And then I finally got one decent photo. Well, we were wrong. I didn't find the octopus, but found some awesome stuff. Uh, finally found the Circe that I've been searching for. Uh, it's even the screensaver on my phone. The Circe, I found it on Google. And we've never seen it in the two years I've been here. I've seen a lot of different Circes, but not that one. That was awesome. And I, I found it. 
I was like, Alex, look! And he's like, oh! And then I showed Gatan, ah! Oh! <laughs> so happy to finally find that one. I can't even remember the rest of the stuff we filmed. I was already happy filming so much stuff. And then, uh, I can't even remember now. I saw a little... Harry's rib! Yeah, I saw a pygmy uh, cuttlefish, but... Pygmy There's No, cuttlefish. Oh, really? Yeah. But it got away, I couldn't film it. Awesome dive. So, if you guys want to join me on a dive, we're actually planning one in November, November 5, in Porta Galera, where you guys can join. So, uh, it's going to be like the ultimate critter expedition. That's why we went down there a few months ago to Porta Galera. Uh, the whole package includes four dives a day, accommodation, like luxury on the white sand beach accommodation, uh, trips to Verde Island all the meals everything so it's like we went down there and planned the most epic dream critter diving trip possible so you guys need to come join me in november i'll put the email down below you can email them and reserve your spot because it's gonna be like this every day we'll go do lay and night dives explore common sites and brand new sites it's gonna be awesome so anyways that was an amazing night See you guys on the next one. Good night.